Hello Virgo, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking with a love reading for August of 2020. I will be looking at what you bring to the table, where you're at, and where the other person is at, energetically, physically, emotionally. Um, I'm going to be taking one Karma Dharma card for each person. Um, let's see what's going on with both of you. Okay, this could be a past life connection. This could be a long-term connection. This could be anyone who you are connected to romantically, the person that you think of, the person you're wanting to connect with. And I will be extending this um, on my website, on my website, dear Virgo. So the link will be in the description box below if this resonates for you then you would be interested to go and see what else is going on as I do um, take a lot more cards in the extended reading let's have a look dear Virgo so looking at you and you have got the hanging man okay you're probably surrendering waiting as you've given a lot, there's been a lot of sacrifice here, okay, and the hanging man is also about illusion. You don't know what's going on really. I mean, Pisces is very hidden. What about the other person? And they come through as the lovers. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo. Your seventh house of partnerships and relationships is Pisces. So there is a hold up, okay? Now, we know that Pisces can also be unconditional love. The lovers can be a very divine union, a very powerful connection as well. So let's see what's going on with you first. So Virgo, please, Spirit, what do they bring to the table? What's going on with Virgo in the month of August of 2020? Let's have a look and see. Virgo, you have the King of Pentacles, so this is my Taurus card. Now, of course, the King of Pentacles, I suppose, could be a Virgo for me, mainly it's Taurus. We've got the Ten of Swords, so if the you have been dealing with this King of Pentacles, there is some sort of an ending, some sort of a deception. Could also be dealing with money matters, okay, King of Pentacles is someone who is very much about their money, their, what makes them feel comfortable, okay? And the King of Pentacles prioritizes. So there's a lot of value where he's concerned. So here with the Ten of Swords, this is some sort of an ending, okay? There's been an ending with the King of Pentacles and we've got Temperance as well. Temperance does speak of Sagittarius, could be someone who is at a far distance to you, someone who resides elsewhere or from a different background. Temperance says that the uh, spirit is working, thing, trying to work things out, trying to bring in healing. Okay, Temperance is two cups pouring from one and the other. We've also got judgment, so Scorpio is here. Taurus, Scorpio, very interesting. So there's been some sort of a heavy judgment here, a death, but there is going to be a resurrection. This is aid, help coming from spirit, okay? And we know with that with Scorpio, this is a very deep connection, very um, sexual as well. Maybe there was no um, intimacy where emotional, your emotional selves are concerned. Because Scorpio is all about getting intimate physically and emotionally. Now we've got the Page of Cups which can be an apology after deception. Page of Cups um, can be an offer of love coming through. This is a second chance, something resurrecting, this connection coming back up again. And we've got the Queen of Swords, so this could be communication. We know that the Queen of Swords is Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, but I tend to see the Queen of Swords as Virgo here because Virgo is all about logic. It's all about doing the math, okay? And I do feel, because here we've got a couple in the background, as you could see, 
um, you may have been dealing with someone that was connected to another person, maybe a married uh, person. Okay, as the Queen of Swords could also be someone that this King of Pentacles is dealing with. Uh, she's usually the person who has come out of a relationship. Maybe, dear Virgo, you are the divorcee. Maybe you're, you've come out of a marriage. Okay, could be someone that... Someone that has deceived you, okay? Now the King of Pentacles could be could be the third party. You could be the third party. It can go any which way. Let's look at the other person. Now we've got Pisces, Scorpio here. We've got Sagittarius. We've got uh, a lot of air. So Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Usually the Queen of Swords is more Libra. Let's look at the other person. For Virgo, please, Spirit. What do they bring to the table? Where are they at? Let's have a look. Now, we've got the Knight of Wands here. Knight of Wands is usually Sagittarius. Wow. Three of Cups, which can be a love triangle, but this can also mean reconciliation. Um, what I usually see this at, because we've got the player, Knight of Wands is usually the player, or it could be someone that travels for work, someone who's very creative. We've got the Three of Wands as well, another three, which can speak of an external person, a third person, of course. This could also speak of being at a distance to this person. We've also got Temperance there, which is saying that, Virgo, you've been... You feel as though you've been stabbed in the back and you're trying to heal. There will be a resurrection as there will be an apology here. Truth will be coming to light. Now here, the Three of Wands, this could be someone that's very focused on career as well. But also with the Three of Wands, this is someone that's waiting for those ships to come through. They may be waiting on you to communicate with them if you have stopped communicating. Okay, as with a hanging man, there is a stoppage here, as there is a head of a heart decision or deciding between two different people. We've got the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is an offer that's not accepted. Okay, Four of Cups is, to me, speaks of um, this offer coming through. And I do feel, Virgo, you may have been asking for commitment. They were not ready for that. And we've got the Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords could be a bit of a, um, a disagreement. It can also mean that news comes in quickly, but also he is severing ties with that, the scales here, which means that he, he or she, whoever you're dealing with, they may be coming out of um, separation, out of divorce. They may be dealing with legalities here. Okay, so we've got the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups here, and we've got the Nine of Cups. So there is a lot of emotion here. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Okay, Nine of Cups is maybe, maybe you were their wish, but they were connected to someone else. Now, the Three of Cups does speak of reconciliation, which says to me that there's been a breakup between the two of you in the past, Okay, there's been a breakup, no doubt here, but the fact, and you've reconciliated, but this has happened a few times. That's what I see here. Okay, and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, we've got strong water here, Sagittarius as well. I do feel that there's quick news coming through. They may be coming in quickly and communicating that they have been going through divorce, separation. Um, now they may be ready to connect with you. Okay, but of course we've also got the lockdown. We know that the three of wands is someone that's waiting at the dock, waiting for their ships to come through. And I do feel here that there has been a lot of, a very strong emotional connection plus a lot of, 
compassion. Now, where communication is concerned, I do feel that you were not on the same page. So maybe you both were not on the same page, wanting exactly the same things at the same time. That's what I feel here. Now, with the Ten of Swords here, we know that the Ten of Swords um, turns into the Ace, okay? Uh, but look at this card. I mean, it's so dreadful. It's such a difficult energy. Now, the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is um, someone who's usually very dependable. This could be a father. This could be someone that has gone through their own issues, okay? Okay, as maybe because having the Ten of Swords after the King of Pentacles is all about stability. But Ten of Swords says that this is the darkest before the dawn. So maybe they've gone through some sort of an ending. This may have been your ending. Okay, and again, the distance, because Temperance can speak of someone that's at a distance. Okay, and Temperance is also spirit, saying that there is divine timing for everything. Okay. I'm going to say maybe you were dealing with someone that was more practical, more, more about, you know, what is really, I mean, what's valuable for them in their life. And I feel here that because we've got the, the judgment card, you know, this is like, this is Scorpio. This is like going through a major transformation. We've got the death card. Um, what am I saying? We've got the Ten of Swords, which is the ending of a major cycle, um, a cycle of too many thoughts, too many worries. I feel as though um, the King of Pentacles in your life was someone that was thinking that it's just too hard, it's something that's not possible, okay? But they've also, I feel as though both parties have not given up on this and there's a lot of patience here because if you're, if you're dealing with an earth sign which We've got Taurus here, and they may have strong, um, as I said, the signs that I've already mentioned. We've got Sagittarius, we've got Gemini, okay, we've got strong water, which is Pisces, Scorpio as well, and air, so Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, I'm going to say as well. I do feel as though after judgment, a judgment call here, Okay, and this, Virgo, you may have, I don't know, maybe misjudged the King of Pentacles, okay? Maybe you thought that their values were not um, equal to your values. Maybe you thought that you did not want the same things. But I do feel here with the, the Page of Cups, which is that offer coming through, which is that, you know, let's... Let's go out and have fun. Let's go out and have a drink. I do feel that they're coming back. They're coming back as a page after they've gone through major transformation. Virgo, you can be quite judgmental and you are showing up as the Queen of Swords here. Okay. And this may also have been, because as you could see in the background, we've got two people. Uh, together here and you are showing up as the third person maybe you found out that there was some sort of a deception here and I do feel uh, with the hanging man here is that there may have been some sort of a confusion some sort of a wrong wrong information and it's all about divine timing it's all about some sort of a lesson where you need to resurrect there is a chance that this will resurrect Virgo, your life, you've been looking at your life very detailed, okay, and the hanging man is all about, you can't really see what's going on, you really cannot see the truth, and I do feel that there is an ending of a cycle here, you feel as though you've sacrificed a lot, but the other person is coming through as the lovers, which means that this is a very strong, powerful connection which needs to be in your life. They can bring balance and harmony to you, even though you're balanced, but you're upside down. Which also says that your life may have been turned inside out. 
from something that was very confusing for you. Now, if it was not conf a confusion and it was deception, then it looks as though this person is going to clear the slate, okay, with the Knight of Swords, which is severing ties, with a legal situation, maybe a legal separation, maybe um, cutting through the lies, speaking the truth, and bringing harmony and balance in. And what's interesting is that we've got three and four is seven and nine is 16 cups. That's like the tower, which is a major shift that they've been going through as well in their lives. Okay, so they've probably had an epiphany of what is really the one, who is really the one for them. Because the hanging man, you're coming through as that. You've given love unconditionally. You've sacrificed a lot. And now you're not showing the emotion here. They're showing up as much more emotional than what you are. So that's what I see, dear Virgo. That's exactly what I see here. Anyway, I will leave it there, dear Virgo. I will be extending, as I said, if this resonated for you. Um, the address is in the description box below. For those of you that will be joining me there, I will see you there. I'll be talking for about 20 minutes in the extended. For others of you, Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Sending you many blessings, lots of love. I will see you soon.